starting again? Okay. It's also interesting to notice that you have Devonian time period here. You also have it along here. So it is on along the outside of the valley and allows the students to see how it's separated by the Rift Valley in the middle. So it's like a sandwich with Devonian bread. <laughs> and, tri and, and Triassic meat. Mm -hmm, okay. <laughs> Jurassic cheese. Okay. And the cheese is the Jurassic cheese is on top of the Triassic meat? Yes. Okay. Cool. So you have the sedimentary rock here mm -hmm. from the, that's the Arcos, the, the gritty sandstone that washed in the valley first as it started eroding. And then here you have the lava flows from the volcanoes of the Holyoke Range. And then on top of that, you have the younger, uh, finer grain sedimentary rock, which includes the sedimentary rock over here that the Dinosaur Footprint Reservation is in. Mm -hmm. And then you have the Mount Tom Water Gap, where the river sliced through uh, the hard uh, igneous rock as uh, the land was being uplifted. So is this right here, what we were talking about earlier, the divide between the two basins? No, the divide between the two basins is right around here. Okay. Yeah, this is the hard, so notice that's Ordovician and Devonian rock. So this is what caused the oxbow. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So the river coming through here bumped against what was higher hard rock, and this of course was higher, and it backed up here. Okay. And but it also sliced through. There probably was a really big waterfall here, mm -hmm. because this rock over here is softer, and when you have water running over a hard rock into softer rock, it'll dig out the soft rock faster, making a big difference in height. So you'll have a waterfall, and that eventually cut through. Mm 